Hey everyone, it's me, Redstone Logic, and today what I have for you is a uh, escalator concept in Minecraft 1.9 plus. So uh, in the Minecraft 1.9 release, there was a piston bug where, well, I'll just show you real quick. So if we head down here and get in front of this piston, then power it. Uh, nothing's abnormal, but then if we unpower it, we'll get sucked straight through the piston. So I have abused this mechanic to make this uh, escalator here and this one back there. I'm going to show you this one first. So this one, so each one has its ups and downs. Uh, for example, well, the cons of this one is it's not seamless at all. You can see most of the redstone right here, but it's a lot more, it's a bit more, I'm not going to say a lot more because actually this one is pretty resource friendly as well. But uh, this one is a bit, teeny bit more resource friendly. So if we just stand here and press ourselves up against this trapdoor and move as far back as possible. So we're going to hit the A and S key right here to push all the way back. And as you can see, we go all the way to the end. And this is design 1, and this over here is design 2. As you can see, it's 100% seamless. We can't see any of the redstone. Other than these pistons, of course, but you're going to have to see those. So if I press myself up against this trap door and this back piston here. And as you can see, we go right on to the end. So one problem you may have with these is you might not make it all the way to the end. And you might stop like halfway through. I'll show a little clip right here of that. So this generally only occurs when you are lagging. So if you are going to use these, you might want to turn down your render distance or video settings when you are using them. Or you could just use them in a not very laggy area. But for those of you who are here for this tutorial, then let's just get into it. So the first design I'm going to show you how to make is design 1, which is the non-seamless one. So we're going to place a block here, and here, and here. And you can break this block if you want. Uh, then we're going to place a block here. Then we're going to wrap around here and put a block there and with a redstone dust. Then we're going to grab a sticky piston and put it there with a block on its face. Then we're going to place a block here, put a redstone repeater. Then we're going to have that running into a block. Then we're going to have that running down here to redstone dust. Then we're going to put a repeater right here, connect it to a block, and continue that like so all the way down to where you want to stop. So after that, you can simply place down your pistons, like so. And then you can just finally place down your trapdoor right here. And you are done. So if I just stand here and press this button. Oh, yep, at the end. So uh, now we're going to get started with design number two. So as I said, design 2 is seamless, but a teeny bit more resource costly. And what I mean by that is it uses a bit more redstone than the other one. So we're just going to start off similar to how we started this one with a block here, then two blocks up. You can break this if you want. Then we're going to place a button on this guy's face. Then we're going to put a block here with redstone dust. Then we're going to put a sticky piston here as opposed to here. Then we're going to put our block on its face and a block there. And then repeater coming off of this sticky piston to create the monostable circuit. Then we're going to run this repeater into this block. And we're going to run the redstone to here. Then coming from this redstone dust, we're going to place two dust here and here. Then we're going to place a repeater running into a block, running into a repeater, running into a block, running into a repeater, running into a block. And keep going until you want to stop like so. Then on each of these blocks, we're going to place a redstone dust on the ground here. Then what we're going to do is grab our pistons and put these where the redstone dust is next to. All the way until we reach right here. And then we can just fill in our blocks here. And as you can see, none of the redstone dust or redstone at all will be able to be seen because the piston is pistons are hiding it. So now we can go ahead and test this out after we place down our trapdoor and flick it like that. We can push in, then we're going to press the button, and we're going to get sucked all the way to the end. So thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you would like more videos like this, please leave a like and subscribe. But uh, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Goodbye.